Hello, you beautiful people. Coming to you from London, notoriously the safest city in the world. And I wanted to uh, walk you through basically a sales tick that we're utilizing at my OnlyFans management agency that's allowing us to see insane success. I'm talking pretty much closing every call that we hop on with OnlyFans models. All right, so if you're at a point that you're starting your OnlyFans management agency or you're wanting to sign and close better models, then this is going to be pivotal for you. So make sure you pay attention and listen up. Now, in terms of the sales trick itself, I call it a sales trick because it's uh, it's interesting, captivating, but the sales trick is as follows. Boast about what you're good at. Boast about what you're bad at. Now, too many people focus on boasting what they're good at all the time and it comes across very salesy if you're hopping on a call with someone they're saying oh yeah i'm the best at this i'm the best at that or yeah yeah I, I, i'm i'm a god you know that, that's going to be coming across very unrealistic and very salesy however something interesting happens when you also talk about what you're bad at all right and now that interesting thing that happens is that it creates more trust and sales, if I could pinpoint it to one thing, it's the transfer of trust. Because picture this, if you're on a call and you had absolute certainty that the person on the other side with what they're offering could achieve that result, then there's zero reason why you wouldn't go through with them or you wouldn't follow through with them. The only reason people don't follow through is because they don't believe the other person and that's the hard truth if you have a sales call and you didn't close it you could basically just pinpoint it so they did not believe you all right now in terms of building that trust and building that kind of rapport so they believe you the one of the best ways you can go about doing that is boasting about what you're bad at because when you boast about what you're bad at you kind of showing them that you're that you're only human as well and you're showing them that you do have weaknesses and flaws. And that is good to do because it makes them relate to you more than if you're just boasting about what you're great at all the time. So, for example, with my agency, we're really good at Twitter, marketing models of Twitter, really good at TikTok, really good at Instagram, really good at those platforms. And we've helped models go from zero to 50 to 100K a month with those particular platforms. However, we're not the best at Reddit. We're still better than most agencies with Reddit in terms of the strategies that we utilize and that we're able to generate like, you know, 5, 10K a month just from Reddit. However, we're not the best at it. So when we hop on sales calls with models, we'll say, look, I'm really bad at Reddit, terrible Reddit. However, what I am good at is I'm good at Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And only on those three platforms, I'm going to get you the most dominant name on those platforms and we're going to accelerate your sales with that and we're going to increase the traffic you're getting increase the amount of subscribers and we're going to convert those subscribers better coming from those three platforms and we don't need to worry about reddit too much reddit will be supplemental but i am really good at those platforms so i encourage you to look at your strengths as a person and as an ANC owner and say okay what platforms am i good at maybe you're just good at tiktok then you could say, look, I'm terrible with Twitter, Reddit, everything. But TikTok, I am your guy. And I can get traffic from TikTok to your OnlyFans account. So doing that creates a very, very deep layer of trust because you're showcasing that you're human. You're showcasing that you have faults. And that builds up that trust in what you're saying. So they start to... Um, they, they believe in you more when you talk about what you're good at because you're not afraid to say what you're bad at. So a really powerful sales tactic and you can use it to close some really high paying models. So implement this today on your next sales call with an OnlyFans model because it's a really attractive offer already. It's a rev share split. All you need to do is build that trust and that's exactly how you're going to do it. So I hope you got value from it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below any questions that you may have around the OFM space as well or just to me in particular. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll speak to you guys in the next video.